All right, guys, another video here uh, in the step. We've already got the machine set up. Uh, it has been referenced. Everything's been turned on. It is ready now to uh, accept the file. So what we have here is we've got a flash drive that came from the office uh, out of Mosaic. This contains all of the G-code uh, in an XXL file format. Um, it's important to note that our machine will not read XXL. We have to convert the files to an ISO file for it to actually work on the machine. So to do this, we're gonna take our thumb drive and we're gonna install it in the computer. It's gonna bring up the files that are on that thumb drive. Uh, we're just gonna quickly review them. This is gonna contain all the jobs. If we, we're gonna cut, for instance, this modern touches job. We're gonna open it up. Uh, there's gonna be a subfolder for G-code and we're gonna open it one more time and then it's gonna show the materials. This may be five, six, seven items long. This job just happens to have quarter inch melamine and three quarter mel. We're gonna open up the three quarter mel just to see, and these are the actual XXL uh, G code files that are in there. Um, this just gives us an opportunity to review it. We don't need to leave this open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this. And then our uh, SCM computer actually has a converter program in it. So we're gonna open it up. It's this red icon. It says Pradex SPGM to ISO converter. Uh, two parts to this thing. One is this is the input file side. This is the output file side. We do not touch anything on the output file side. We don't want to mess with this file location or anything. The CNC knows where this file is at. If we change this, uh, the unit won't be, able, won't be able to see the files. So we can't touch that. The other thing that we do not touch ever is going to be spoil board thickness down here. This only gets adjusted if we are uh, uh, servicing the spoil board, okay? So it's very important that we, uh, we do not touch this number down here ever, okay? Uh, the very, very important. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with the input file side. We're gonna hit the file location button, and I'm just gonna kind of start from fresh here. Uh, we're gonna find our, our removable drive, which is E, and that happens to be this guy right here. So we're gonna open up E, we're gonna find the job that we wanna work with, and this is what it would look like if you were just opening it up. We're gonna click on Modern Touches. There's G-codes already open. We're gonna open up three-quarter melamine, and we're gonna say okay. That's gonna load whatever the contents were into uh, the Pradex uh, unit, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna select these folders. I'm gonna uh, actually put my phone down here um, and select all these files. All right, so we've got them selected. All I was doing is I needed two hands. Uh, you can select the first file and then hold the shift key. Uh, so I selected one and then I held the shift key and I clicked on sheet four and it group selected all of that material. So now it's selected and it's blue. So we're going to press the convert button, the arrow button, and it's gonna convert those files to an ISO file. And it just takes a few moments for it to check it and make sure all the machining is good. Okay, so now the it's been done. So we're going to walk back over to the handheld. And now we're going to install that file that folder onto uh, uh, the handheld. Uh, so anyway, we're in auto mode, which is very important. We need to be in auto. We're going to go to um, execute. And then we're going to download the folder that we just uh, converted. It's gonna ask us to overwrite. We're gonna say yes for okay. And then it's gonna just basically confirm that it's in there. So now our folders are inside here, okay? If the machine was on at this point, we would be able to uh, go ahead and start processing sheets. Last thing that we'll talk about during this phase is sometimes we'll have sheets that have flip side operations. Uh, the file names will have an F on the back side. Obviously, we want to make sure and cut our flip side operations first. Uh, to accomplish that, we need to be able to work off of this list differently. Right now, if I was to press cycle start, it is going to run sheet one, and then sheet two, and then sheet three, and then sheet four. So to kind of manipulate what order we want to run in, we're going to press selection, and we're going to come over here to deselect all. You're going to see the check marks go away. And what we can do is actually go to a specific file 
press select. And this next step is very, very important. You have to press send. If you do not press send, it will run sheet one uh, without you even realizing it. So you're gonna press send. It's gonna say data successfully changed. Press one for okay. At this point, if I pressed S, this would run sheet three.